What's up guys, Dominic and here and welcome to a little commentary that I have for you guys. Now today's commentary will about, be about, sort of about YouTube and all, and how it is for smaller YouTubers and also bigger YouTubes type thing. Now, what inspired me to do this commentary was this comment that was posted in one of my videos, I believe my last, my other commentary, my first one. And the bit about YouTuber being the YouTube being a war zone, I was thinking about. It was like on my mind. I was just thinking about it, and I th thought actually there's a very good way of sa of talking about the gaming part of YouTube at the moment, because for smaller YouTubers, it is quite hard to uh, actually very hard to get big on YouTube right now because there's so many big YouTubers out there, and it's really hard for people for ge to get people to notice your videos, and that's why the likes are there. So you can go up in this in the ratings and stuff and people will find out your videos faster but for smaller youtubers it's a very hard and there's all there's a lot of competition out there i guess you could say so getting your channel to a bigger type of channel if it's like 100 subscribers 1000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers getting you yourself to that place is actually extraordinarily hard and even for the bigger youtubers once they're at their i don't know let's just say 10,000 subscribers there's a whole lot of other bigger youtubers out there who are just so big say let's take pewdiepie for example I believe he's the biggest youtuber out there he's a gamer at the moment and he does the gaming his ja gaming channel and you have to think about if the if 30 something million people have subscribed to him that how many people are watching his videos daily and so i think that's around about 300,000 people per video even if more maybe a million same of like a few others like all the minecraft peoples and cnanism and all them people so many people are watching their videos so when you put your video up on youtube it goes into the whole list of things so either you have to get on and get your video out first about a certain thing or you have to get all those likes and stuff so there's a few like different ways of like doing those getting your videos more noticed one of the better ones is reddit type things and maybe some like i don't know facebook or something but youtube going back to the top big topic here youtube being a war zone like that way of explaining youtube i think is a really excellent way of explaining it considering youtube is kind of well at this state it's i guess you could say it's having a lot of changes it's had a lot of changes since it's first started up for one now you need a google plus account to actually be able to subscribe or comment or like a video so for all the people who had their YouTube accounts before this happened it was easier to get subscribers because now to s subscribe to someone you actually have to make the account and some people just want to watch the videos and not have to make the account and that's just a whole lot of time that they have to go through just to make the account and it's honestly for me it was a bit of a pain making the account but but before it was easier for the YouTubers you to get big on bigger on YouTube and get more subscribers because people would be able to subscribe doesn't it didn't really matter if you had an account or if you didn't have an account you could click the subscribe button you could click the like button you could comment whatever you want and when the big when that change came through I think everything kind of changed and really it wasn't an amazingly good change I think it kind of spoiled some of YouTube and really didn't go too well. So that's going to wrap up my commentary. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button and subscribe because I will be doing more commentaries on different types of things and mostly about TF2 items because I like to rant about TF2 items. So have a good day everybody and goodbye.